it's already very well known that VWD, a vulnerable disease, is a very heterogeneous group of uh, diseases, but type 2 and can sometimes be considered more of a homogeneous type of vulnerable brain disease. And uh, actually, you find it's not really truly the case. There are different types of VWD type 2N, and um, uh, usually we think that all type 2N VWD patients have a good response to dismopressin. And uh, we, um, we explored a French cohort which of uh, 121 patients, uh, which is uh, so far the largest uh, cohort to be studied uh, with type 2 and VWD. And uh, not uh, all of our patients were good responders to this morphosy. So we looked at the genotype and to find out if this could be the explanation for the differences in uh, dysmopressin response. And it's not as simple as that, actually. So there are basically two um, types of type 2 and VWD patients. Patients who have a R854Q uh, allele and uh, patients who do not have that variant, who have other type 2 N variants. And uh, so another simple way of looking at it is to think type 2 N patients who have the R854Q variant have a milder bleeding phenotype and good response to dysmorphosin. But it's not as simple as that either. Um, we looked at uh, that uh, subpopulation and some of them did not have a good response to dysmorphosin. If we look at uh, their baseline factor eight levels, we saw that patients who had um, factor eight levels lower than 15% had um, a, a poor response to smoothpressin. Those who had um, factor eight baseline levels higher than 15% had uh, overall a good response to smoothpressin. So that's a simple tool that can help predict dysmopressin response.